Okay, we are back again, and this is a continuation to our videos on creating templates. This is part two. So, first thing we want to do is we want to create a title block. So, we're going to go to our application menu, go to new, and go to title block. Okay, in this selection, we're going to use the 36 by 24. I need you to create the 11, these other two for practice, but let's just do this one for reference. We'll pick OK. OK, now we're in this family, and the first thing we want to do is we want to select the, um, the line command. And then I want to go to my favorite tool here, the offset, the pick line, and I want to offset this one quarter of an inch. OK. And then I want to go down here, and I want to use wide lines for the title box. So we can just go and select there, there, this line there, the wide line too. That's good. And there's a line there. So then we go and clean this up. We can stand there in a sec. And there's our our borderline and we use the wide line. Now next thing we want to do, uh, we want to go in and create our, our 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 title block really what what, what it is. So we want to go back in the create and align command. This time we'll go down and we'll use our title block line style. Now here what we want to do, we want to go in and let's just do this. I think for us, we want to go here maybe, let's say three inches here. Then we want to go up, uh, See, let's see, let's go up three inches here. And three inches there. And come across like so. Okay. Looking pretty good there. Then the next thing we want to do here to get this thing going here, I think we want to create another line. Let's just make sure we got enough space here. We've got, uh, let's see what this distance is. This is just for me using this, but I think, uh, let's see, yeah, we can stick with three. Okay, that's good. Now, up here, we want to take, we want to create a line, and let's go down about a half an inch. Yep. That's there. And then here, let's go down about an inch. Line there. Okay, now here we want to go just take this across. I think that's about a yep, inch and a half, inch and a half. Cancel. Okay, so now over here we want to take these lines a quarter of an inch down. Just one quarter. We can do our good old, yeah, well, let's go quarter, let's just do a quarter inch. Come on, guys. Uh, sorry. There's another line there. And then we'll add one more here. But you can guess what these are for. Uh, now, we have all of our lines in for our title block. Yep. Now, you could be creative with your lines. Okay, so now we want to um, click on the um, 
the big A. We're going to go to annotate. I'm second here. I'm going to go right. Okay. That's a little better for me. I don't know if you can see that, but I got more light now. Okay, so now we want to go to the Create tab and click on the A. Okay. Now here, we want to edit type. Now we did this in the last exercise for our template, and we want to do it again because this is another family. So we want to type first, we want to duplicate, and we'll call this one Arial. One sixteenth of an inch. Um, we'll click OK. We'll change this to, we'll have a final area. We'll change the size to one sixteenth. And we'll say we don't want this bold. And we want our background to be transparent. And then we'll say, okay. Then we'll go back here. We didn't even have to do that. We can duplicate the next one. And we'll call this one title. And we'll use, uh, we'll go, okay. Now the font we'll use. Let's go with something different. Let's go with Calibri. Just for the hell of it. Or I need to see AL. Calibri. Okay. And then here for our title, we want this to be one inch. We're going to make the text size one full inch. And then uh, here we will select bold for our title text. And we'll also make this transparent, which is already set. And then we'll say, okay. Oh, did that again. Didn't have to do that. Now we'll duplicate the next one. And we'll call this uh, logo. Click OK. There's our new type at the top. Our font will be, let's go with Arial. I'll just stick with Arial. That's, that, that font seems to work well in Revit for some reason. So let's just stick with Arial. And then we'll go uh, make this size a quarter of an inch. And then we'll go make this bold as well. say black ground is transparent and we'll click both. So we have three new fonts here and then we'll click OK. Now we're going to start using this new uh, um, function here that we haven't used before. So we're going to create tab. This time we want to click on label. Okay and then in the label properties we got to Click on label, yep. And here in the, the type properties, we want to, let's see, we should have our fonts there. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go here, properties, and type. Okay, we need to create these. So we go back into create, and we'll hit the label. And then we want to edit these label, label types. So we'll go duplicate. And we'll call this, uh, we'll call this area one eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. Click OK. We've got area one eighth of an inch here. And no, we won't have it 
bold. I'm gonna make this transparent. We'll click OK. And we'll go ahead and type again. We'll duplicate. As you can see, these are labels or tags. And we'll call this Arial. Like I told you a while back, labels are smart. They do things. We said OK. And you'll see in just a minute. OK. And we don't want that bold, but we do want it transparent. So we've got our two um, label um, fonts. So we can just click OK here now. Now, what we want to do here, you want to just zoom into this title block area. And we want to... Um, we want to add some things here for our um, sheet, and these are going to carry over. So the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to type A. Let's see. You want to go here and just cancel out this. And then here, we want to type the A. And we want to use the 1 16th inch text that we created. And we want to type right here. Let's go and key in our sheet. Sheet number. Okay, that's good. Let's just sort of. Okay, cancel that and move him up a little bit. Now, a good way to get out of these commands is to use the modify key to escape, because it can be kind of annoying. Or you can type escape, escape. So now we want to go back here again. Repeat text. We want to go and say in this box, let's say drawn by. <laughs> I create one of these for each discipline or each sheet just for practice. Now I did that again. So we're going to hit modify. And then I'm going to go here, create. I'm going to go to A. And then I want to type here project. And our 1 16th inch text that we created. Get out of that guy, and then up above here, we'll just punch in create of the text, and we'll say date. Okay, so now we have our our date, sheet number, product name, and everything there. So next, we want to start using a label. We want to click on label now. This guy is using our labels. We click on label and we'll use the area one quarter of an inch and we'll just align this to center justification here. Okay. And we'll go here and we'll put our, let me see, what will be first here? Let's go to our sheet name and it'll be right up here. Now here what happens is you'll see this dialog box open up and you'll go down to sheet name. Uh, there it is, sheet name, and just push it over here and click OK. And there's our sheet name. Now next we want to do is uh, go here and create another label. I think this size, what size do you think you want to use this one? Do you want to go to one inch? Or the quarter inch as well. I think we'll stick with the. Uh, I think this should have been probably one inch. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Okay, let's go and do the. Let's do everything here quarter inches we get. So, next thing we want to do here, we have our sheet name. Then let's go and create another label. And select it here, align. And we want to call this our project name. So we'll go down and we'll find project name. 
and slide it over. Click OK. I don't think we're in center justification because it's not lining up, but I guess it is. So now we want to exit out of this and grab this guy and move it up. Move it up to there. Move the sheet name up to there. Okay, we're moving right along here. Next, we want to go and place our project address. So for the project address, I think we can drop this guy down to about an eighth of an inch. Let me move this up a little bit. So let's go create another label. Select here, where we have this lined up. And we'll find project address. Just it over. Click OK. Uh, actually, we want this smaller, so let's undo this. Cancel it, sorry. I'm going to undo this, and we want to change our font to one eighth of an inch. And then we want to go and create another label. And we'll select it here. And we'll go down to project address. Because this, this will probably be more than a few lines. It might be two or three lines. So it again. I'm sorry guys. I think what happened here, let's go back and fix this guy. But you know what happened, don't you? Let me fix this right quick. And it type Okay. That's okay. So this should be text. Ah, there's the problem. We didn't change our font size. Gotta be careful of that. Okay. There we go. So we actually wanted these to be uh, a quarter of an inch. I thought it was kind of funny. So remember to change your size when you create these. Now, this little guy, what we do here, we can just pull this out and, and stretch it up, and then we'll grab the uh, project address and pull it down. This doesn't look centered to me. It really doesn't, but you can move it over and fix it however you like. Now, here, we want to do... Um, We want to do it. We want to add our date. So we're going to create another label. And uh, let's look at what size we got here. That's the right size. We want to go OK. And let's place uh, the date right here. And we'll go revision. And we don't say revision, let's just go date. I say project issue date because that's project issue date. And click OK. And that guy should be here. Sorry, I don't know why I got over there. It should be here. Right about there. And then again, we can select these lines and adjust it accordingly. Okay, now next uh, we'll have, we'll go here and create another label. Sorry I'm just taking long, but you're learning something and it's good to know. I don't have a justification, right? I should have had it here. Uh, that we're looking for now, project. Uh, project number. We go down into our project number. And select it over, hit OK. And then we want to move our project number into place. Oh. And then drawn by, we want to go create another label. Select it right there. And we have drawn by 
push it over, apply, okay. So what we've done here basically, we made we making a title block with all of our information that is that's labeled and they'll all show up. Now this sheet number, same deal, but I think we want to make this bigger. So for our sheet number, we're going to create, label, and we'll go down to, oh geez, make it a quarter of an inch. Uh, sheet number. Sheet number. There. Now there. Title block so far. Let's cancel out this. Remember, use that. That's much easier. We got the justification wrong, so we can fix that as well. But for now, that's our title block with the sheet name, project name, and project address. These are going to carry through. These are labels. They are smart. So remember that. I'm just straighten these out. A little better. I didn't do justification right. So when you do yours, make sure you have similar justification. Now, okay, now we want to add a logo here. So here we want to go uh, insert, insert image, and I placed on my desktop the logo. I'm sure you got them somewhere. And hit here, open, and then the two X's. Let me just size this up a bit. Leave it in there. Yeah, it's good. I just nudge them over like that. And there's our logo. And there's our title block, a smart little title block. Now, what we want to do is uh, we could put text in there. I love some font size for the text, but I'm going to leave it out for right now, okay? Uh, now, we want to add our revision schedule here. <clears throat> so what we do here now to add a revision schedule, we want to go into the, um, this is just like creating a schedule, basically. Uh, so we, what we do here is we go into the, um, the view tab, and where you see revision schedule, and then we want to go and we want to add the number over here. I guess it should buy some two. Let's move this one over. We won't use that much. So let's go issued by revision number, date, and description. We said okay. Oops, we did that wrong. Sorry, I did that backwards. I should have moved the default. So let's do this again, revision schedule. So we want to go, let's cancel this. Let's do this again, revision schedule. And what we have is, we want to have issue two. This is good. This is the default is fine here. So here's our schedule. And then what we'll do is, uh, it works just like a regular schedule. We can close this out. And then we can drag and drop this. And we'll view all schedules. Well, we had two actually here. I made two of them. We'll replace it right about there. Okay. Now, we want to adjust this to fit right over your title block because it will go here. Mm. Let's just squeeze this in a little bit. There we go. And then, um, let's squeeze it in a little more. Get what I'm saying, all right? 
We need to fit this so it'll fit right over here. It looks nice and neat. So that goes there. We can do a little more editing here. And bring that over. You don't get the double lines because the plot is big and you know how to change the plot size. But for this exercise, just leave it as is. I've got a revision schedule too, but I really don't want that. So now what we do here, let's just select this guy. Let's go on to schedule two. Oops. Let me do that. Let's go on to schedule two. Let's single click it. Let's take on appearance. Again, and then we'll go down here to variable height and let's change this to user defined. And then we want to tick blank. Well, ah, let's leave that tick blank over before that and hit OK. Now let's go and pull this guy up. So we have a few rows open. But I think we want to, yeah, let's leave a blank row before the data. So anyway, we're moving on with this. This is how you create a revision block. And this is also smart. Um, and there you go. So create me a title block here. The revision block. Name, join name, and everything. I think I want to do something here. I want to edit this appearance, and I want to remove this blank row. Okay, there. Move that over a little bit more. Now, that's the title block. That's how you will create your own title block in Revit. Uh, let's get this over a bit more. Okay, now, Okay, now the sheet, this is all done now. So, review this, go in, create your fonts, create your labels, learn how to use the labels, and then we'll go on and we'll see how these labels work. These labels are smart, they carry on to each sheet. So make a title block for, you know, the Unistrad, the Calbright. I mean, make them all. I'll show you later how to make... Uh, Different uh, one for different uh, logos for different sheets, but this is going to be the biggest sheet, and we'll make our smaller sheets uh, as we go. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, all of you non-trainee people out there who's learning off my videos. <laughs> if you like it, subscribe or like this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great night. Bye.